This game at the newly named Principality Stadium was played under a closed roof and the home side were led out by Jonathan Davies who was earning his 50th cap. Warren Gatland was in the happy position of being able to name an unchanged starting 15 for this one. Dan Bigger fit to play. Scotland were forced into a last-minute change with Sean Lamont coming in for late withdrawal Sean Maitland. There was also one other injury and force change in the visitors' team, Duncan Taylor replacing Matt Scott in the centre. Seven minutes in, Wales got the first score in dramatic fashion. From Bigger's kick ahead, Roberts got the touch back and when Gareth Davies collected, he still had plenty of work to do, but the Scarlet scrum half charged for the line, leaving the chasing defenders floundering. Davies was top try scorer in the Pro 12 a couple of seasons ago, and this is the reason why. Great pace from the Welsh number nine, and a super start to the game for Gatlin's men. Bigger slot of the conversion over to make it 7-0. Scotland had run England close in their opening game of the campaign, and they showed their battling qualities with a good response to the concession of that early score. On 13 minutes after a sustained period of pressure, Finn Russell cleverly chipped to the corner, Tommy Seymour was in space to receive and get down for the try. The man born in Nashville, Tennessee, scoring Scotland's first try of this year's championship, and it gave Laidlaw a chance to level the scores with the conversion. It wasn't an easy kick, but the Scottish captain landed an absolute beauty to make it seven points apiece. The crowd were enjoying an entertaining game, and on the half-hour mark, Scotland, seeking a first win in Cardiff since 2002, edged in front when Laidlaw kicked a long-range effort to make it 10 points to 7. It was 10-all five minutes from half-time when Bigger found the mark after Ali Dickinson was penalised for not driving straight in the scrum. A good kick from the reliable Ospreys out-half and it brought it back to Old Square. However, there was still one more chance for Laidlaw to move Scotland ahead at half-time. His kick from distance was very good, and as the players made their way in at the break, Scotland led 13 points to 10. There was little to choose between the two sides, and early in the second half it was 13-all, after an exciting break by first Luke Charteris, and then Talupe Falatau, Referee George Clancy whistled for the penalty after an earlier Scotland offside. Bigger tapped it over and it was level scores once more. A laid law penalty put the Scots 16-13 ahead, but Wales had some aces to play. From inside his own 22, Tom James collected a loose ball and took off towards the Scottish line. It was a brilliant run by the Cardiff winger and he looks set to score but it was an equally brilliant try-saving tackle from Duncan Taylor who got his angles just right to ground James short of the line. But it was a sign of things to come from Wales and soon after that they turned up the pressure on the Scots. 15 minutes from time, Jamie Roberts barged over from close range to put the men in red in front. It's almost impossible to stop Roberts from that close in. And when Bigger popped the conversion over, it was 20 points to 16. Wales came into the game on a run of eight straight victories over the Scots. And ten minutes from time, they looked to have sealed another win when George North took off, dancing away from a couple of flailing Scottish tacklers before dashing over the line for a spectacular score. The Northampton winger with one of the tries of the weekend and a score that put daylight between the two teams. Bigger put the conversion over and suddenly there was 11 points between them, 27-16. But there's a never-say-die attitude in this Scottish side under Vern Cotter and as the game was drawing to a close, there was time for late drama. Rory Jackson found Taylor, who then charged past Anscombe's attempted tackle and over the line for another Scottish try. Great work by the Saracens man, and when substitute Duncan Weir added the extras, it left just a four-point gap. The Scots would have one last chance from the restart as the clock moved into the red. 
But unfortunately for the visitors, having collected the ball cleanly, a misplaced pass from Sam Hidalgo Klein led to a knock on. And Wales could celebrate a win after a thoroughly entertaining game. Gatlin's men right in the championship mix now as they take on France in Cardiff next. It's two narrow defeats for Scotland. They'll travel to Rome in confident mood that they can record their first victory of the championship in two weeks' time. The final score at the Principality Stadium was Wales 27, Scotland 23.